Boltworks Today is a viewer-supported show. To learn more on how you can get involved and watch extended ad-free versions of these videos, please visit our website, boltworkstoday.com, and click on the top of the heading where it says support this show. Thank you. Today I want to show you how you can make a casting or specifically a mold of your existing non-skid textures that you'll be able to use for doing future repairs. So let's get started. Now the first step in this process is we need to make sure that everything that we lay on here is going to be able to pop back off. So I'm going to come in and spray very fine mist coats of PVA or polyvinyl alcohol. That's going to create our release film that we'll be able to basically build on top of and if we're lucky be able to pull everything back apart without causing any damage. So. Okay, well I've gotten four coats sprayed on here basically in succession. And right now I'm just going to walk away for probably an hour or so. I'm going to leave the big fans run so I get some good airflow through here. And hopefully this is going to skin up or well, skin over or dry so that I can get my gel coat laid on here yet today. So I'll be back in a bit. And we're back. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some tape and I'm basically just going to tape around the, the border of this, uh, of this cover mainly to cover up these holes so I don't have a bunch of gel coat and resin and stuff you know, dripping through here, but also just to make sure that I don't have any excess gel coat or resins of any kind going over the sides and then you know, and dripping down. So uh, this PVA has been sitting for, I think it's two and a half, three hours or so. So it's completely dry and ready to go. The next step that we're going to be doing is we're going to be pouring in some, uh, some gel coat in over top of this existing texture. Now remember, this is the, going to be the female side of the mold. So we'll be casting our parts off of what we're going to be pulling off of this. So when, you're, when you apply the gel coat over the top, you want to make sure that it's thick enough that it completely fills all of the non-skid texture in here, because if it doesn't, when you pull it back out, the, the deep parts of the, of the, the non-skid are going to be bare. You know, it's not going to be a, a good, solid, clean um, casting. So we're going to lay this on thick. So I'm going to pour up eight ounces, which is going to be more than what I need, but I would rather have more than not enough. And if you decide, and if you use a brush for, for pushing this gel coat around, just do, uh, do so very lightly. You don't want to accidentally uh, tear your, your film of PVA with the brush. So with the gel coat down, now, it's, now we just wait. I'm going to let this set and, and tack up for probably, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half, until you can touch it without it, uh, you know, having anything come off in your fingers. It is the following morning and the gel coat that we laid up last night has set up. It's, it's not cured because I didn't put any PVA over it because I didn't want to have to sand it for this next step, which is going to be applying some reinforcement over this top so that when we, hopefully when we pull this off, nothing cracks. So all I'm going to be doing is applying uh, or laminating two layers of one and a half ounce chop strand and then I'm hands off again for a while. Hopefully. I am going to let this set up for probably a couple hours and then I'll come back and I'm going to put some PVA on this because this part I do want to fully cure. So again, it's one of those hurry up and wait kind of a thing. So um, now we're on hold. Be back in a bit. I think I'm ready to try this. Uh, this is still the same day as when I laid up the glass. It's been about four, four hours since I laid up the glass and about two hours since I laid on the PVA. But that's fine. I, I can still pull this off and let it sit overnight and it'll still you know, continue to, uh, to do its thing. But before I check out tonight, I just want to make sure that it's actually going to pull off of this hatch. <laughs> it should. I, I have no reason to believe that it won't, but you, know, you never know until you know. So, Oh, hell, this is popping right off.
Let me go down and trim off some of this excess glass here and then wash off this PVA so we can really see how, uh, how well the texture printed into this mold. This turned out beautiful. So, do you know what you really got here? Anyone ever hear of the Gibco Flex Mold? You know, stuff that they, uh, that they sell you for 50 bucks a square foot uh, to repair a small little area of non-skid on your deck? Same thing, exact same thing. They're, the stuff that you buy from them is flexible. They, you know, they're able to put it up into a roll, but it doesn't matter. This does not cost you $50 a square foot to make, and you can make these panels up as large as you, well, as large as you want, really. You can hold on to this, and you can use this over and over again, in, indefinitely. I mean, <laughs> unless you damage it. I mean, if you break it in half, well, you could still use it. It's just, it'll be half the size. <laughs> And on that note, I'm going to end this video here. And then in our next video, then we'll be covering the process for actually using this mold that we built. We're doing a, a patch repair in a non-skid panel, specifically this panel. If this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe to this channel. I will include a link for that right here. And if you happen to be watching this on mobile, I will also include a subscription link down below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please Show some love, give the video some thumbs up, and consider sharing it on your social networks through Facebook and Twitter. As always, I want to thank you for your time. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those down below. And until next time, thanks for watching. This has been a Boatworks Today Protection.